Uh, Case IH has been involved in precision farming for quite a number of years. Um, some people may remember back in 95, 96, we, um, we had yield monitoring on our um, combines. And really, you know, it's evolved from there. So we obviously talk to our customers about what they're doing and their needs. Data management is one thing for sure, so gathering the information and then doing something with it. And then, you know, we've seen other areas develop as well, such as the auto steering as well. So this is kind of the automation. So we can, we can really kind of uh, group the actions or the areas. So we've got auto guidance, we have data collection, then we have the use of the data with variable rate application, and then we have transfer of data as well, which is the telematics. And what we see here is really, is a concept vehicle at the moment, but it's really driven from customer feedback utilising uh, the time of the operator as best as possible. I mean here we show something quite advanced without a cab. We would quite possibly see something like this with a cab to start with. Um, and this is a machine that's not completely autonomous. That would mean that it's making all, uh, making its own it's decisions. But this is something that will basically so work in the field on its own. If it has uh, an issue or it sees something that it doesn't like, um, it would then stop and it would actually notify the, the operator for a command. Um, so there's different levels of autonomy and this is for sure quite an advanced step. Um, but uh, you know, even after that there's further steps that can be taken. So this, this particular machine as you see it, say it's not likely to, to be um, out of the market too soon but um, we expect to further implement the, the um, self-steering autonom autonomous feature within three to four years, so not too far away, but that would be more on a standard type tractor. Now that, that depends on a few factors. We, we need to really work next on um, working with customers um, in pilot groups, so we've actually identified two, two areas where we want to work with customers. We've got to understand how they're going to interact with the machine because it's, you can't just take something like this, put it on the farm and say work away. You, you know, they, they need to have, know how to operate and to integrate and make best use of the machine. And the other area we've got to look at is the legal aspect as well. So people were seeing the news about self-driving cars and lorries and stuff like that. So we can see that there's an interest in this, but we need to see the regulations or framework develop around this as well. So. The, the hardware and the technology is there, we need to further develop the software part, we need to also further understand the uh, customer use and integration and then basically from there we can start to really uh, package the product in something that we can commercialise um, and then go into the market.